Uh, now, uh, so here we are. Uh, this, the year is 2005. The music industry has lost 30% of its value. Uh, we're convinced that digital downloading is the death of the industry, that because of digital downloading, people will never buy anything ever again. And, um, and people are, are uh, uh, distracted by video games. We've been told that, right? The video game industry has taken over. It's the new music business and all this other stuff. Here we are. People are distracted by video games, and they have so many other things to do. Well, I remember in 1978, when the music industry lost 30% of its value, the cassette machine was, was all pervasive, and everybody was copying music on cassettes and sharing with their friends. No. And the industry was convinced that that and the VCR were going to kill. The VCR was going to kill movies. I don't, you know, you guys may have read about this, but the, they fought the VCR. It was going to kill movies. And the cassette machine was going to kill the record business. People had stopped buying records. Why? People stopped buying records because A, we had a tired format, we were overpriced, and we were putting out shit. <laughs> and two things came along to, to save the, rec the uh, record industry. Two things. Three albums and a new format. And the three albums were Eagles Greatest Hits, Thriller, and The Wall. And the new format was the CD. Everybody liked it. It was sexy. It had a little drum. It would go, okay. And then it would play music. And people, you know, it wasn't about like, you know, and people were convinced. Oh, wow, that sounds so much better. It doesn't. It sounds like shit. It's horrible. But, and that's another story. We'll spend, we'll spend hours on that one. But anyway, they loved it. It was exciting and it made them want to go out again. And then they heard this music that they just fell in love with. Michael Jackson just blew their minds and the wall got them back into rock music again. The Eagles, you know, people were singing and rocking and, 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 and it's almost like the whole industry took like an upwards, you know, like just a step up in quality and, and so much more good quality stuff started to come out. And, and that stimulated the business and people got back out there and spent their money. We're in 2005, we lost 30% of our business, people are copying our shit, we have a tired format. We have a tired format. I'll say it again. We have a tired format. This box is so limiting. Like, who decided it? This, I, I had this argument with, uh, with Donnie Einer and Mel Ilberman seven years ago. I said, this thing that you guys keep putting out, one size fits all, it's got to have, what, what is it now? 14 songs? We've got to have 14 songs, and it's going to cost eighteen ninety eight. So I so said, this is kind of like this. OK, this is like. <coughs> I go into a car dealership and I say, you know, I work four blocks from my house. I want a little four-cylinder some putt-putt just for the weather to get me from home to work. And they go, fuck you. You're taking an eight-cylinder, seven-seater SUV. That's all we sell. Or you're walking. You know, what, what other industry in the world says to people, no, what, not only do you only get one kind of thing in one shape at one price, but you have to go to one place to get it. What was that about? And instead of owning the future, instead of, instead of being uh, alert to the changes that were coming their way, and it's not like these guys didn't know about it. You know, it's not like there were people like me that were crying out in the wilderness from the, from the year 1980. In, in 1980, I gave a, a speech to, to uh, BMI and an interview to Record World where I talked about downloading. And, you know, we all knew it was coming. We had wires in our house, right? We all had wires in our house, and people were pushing stuff. It was TV, but it was coming to our house. How long was it going to be before it was going to be music? Why do we need boxes? Why do we need stuff? Why don't we just go, Barbara Streisand, people. People, people. You know, why not? It's the future. And, and the industry just hung on to this because they couldn't understand how to monetize a, a new a sort of futuristic model. And they hung on to it so long that they were the ship has sailed. It has so sailed, by the way. Who was I talking to about this yesterday? It was, this is, anyway, the ship has sailed so far. It's in Tokyo. And our industry, our guys, the leaders of our business, are on the dock in New York, firing shots at it with a blunderbuss, hoping to sink it. It's over. It's really over. So anyway, we need a new format. We need better stuff. We need, 
a better pricing structure that's more sensitive to what the, the audience wants. It's not that the audience wants to steal. You know, this is not stealing. They don't even perceive it as stealing. They're just interacting with stuff. They're interacting with it the way it asks to be interacted with. You open up, I open this up and it says, find something. So I go, okay, I'll find something, you know? I'm not thinking, well, better not because I'm stealing from people, you know? Bad box, don't tell me to find things. You just do it, you just find things. It's like channel surfing, you don't think about it. And th so the audience isn't stealing from us, they're taking the stuff from wherever it's being made available. The difference is we're not making it available as an industry, we're not. We're not. Our, our leaders have led us into a big dark hole. I, for one, think this is the best thing that's ever happened. Because I think that only with the great flood comes purity again. And, and I feel like, you know, we need an ark. And we need all the really cool people on the ark and all the heads of record companies outside. <laughs> and we need a great flood. We need a big flush. We need a big flush in our, in our industry. We need a big flush in our society. But, but, but we need a big flush. And then come back and start again. And that's kind of what's happening right now. That we're getting a big flush. The, the rules as we know them are changing. Five years from now, remember this date, five years from now, there will be a whole new way of, of finding the music that you want and having it where you want it, when you want it. And it's not going to be anything you're doing right now. It'll be different. I don't know what it is. It'll probably be through the air, but it'll be different. And the CD business will be consigned to sections of large stores, big box merchandisers, You'll, you'll be going to Circuit City, but you'll also be seeing them on the counters at, at Skechers, at Starbucks, at everything else that starts with S, at, um, <laughs> you know, whatever. But it'll be everywhere. There'll be little CDs everywhere, and they'll be for like two bucks. They'll be for nothing. Four ninety nine for stuff that you'll only use as a, as a temporary way to take it from that spot and put it into your other device, whatever your device is. There'll be stations where You'll just aim your wireless, whatever it is, and you will just suck it up and, and you'll get a bill. Ching, goes on your credit card. Thank you very much. Love that song. You can walk and have it. Um, with all due respect to Lee Abrams um, and XM and Satellite Radio, I think those guys have got a lot to worry about. I think that that's a transitional technology. It's my humble opinion. But anyway, here's where we are today. Where we are today is we're at a time of, of incredible transition. And we're at a time where the, where the rules as we know them have changed. And even though uh, most of the people in the industry around you won't acknowledge it, it's over. That which we knew before is over. There's still a little time to get in. If you want to get in, you can still do a little something. But my message to you guys is let the business go through its big flush. Let the business guys shake out. Let the big companies, let Warner Brothers go into the goddamn toilet. Damn them anyway. Damn those people for what they did. I swear to God. It's, it's the legalized rape of, a, of an amazing asset. But they've got my masters in there too, you know, and I'm just pissed about this, about what they've done and what was once a, you know, you know, a great, I mean, there was so much great stuff on those labels. But anyway, uh, let them go into the toilet. Let all that stuff go down. You guys just make your stuff. Make it. Make it really, really good, share it with your friends, and let them share it with their friends, and let it disseminate naturally, virally, we say, or whatever the catchphrase is, but let it just, let it roll, you know? Let it go out there because it can, and let it be accepted because it's great, and let people come to you and say, can you mind if I play this for somebody else? And like, sure. And, and your stuff will find the new video. <coughs> it will find it, and it will find you. My, you know, my greatest advice to you right now is to remember that in the beginning, today, and tomorrow, there's really only music. And that's it. Any questions?